What is the meaning of OBD2 PO302? This code indicates that cylinder 2 is experiencing a misfire. It's good that it's specific, that helps narrow things down and makes troubleshooting a bit easier. A quick scan of the OBD2 system via a code scanner will reveal this and get you well on the way to remedying it. Likely symptoms. The check engine light is on or flashing. This is the first thing that will happen, that unmistakable light will be on, or flashing in your face. The engine is running rough or stumbling. The engine will run a bit rough, stumble a bit, and generally not feel healthy. There's a fuel smell in the exhaust. You can smell a pronounced hint of fuel, no matter the car being cold or fully warmed up. The car seems to be a little weak. As the old country song goes, well the old grey mare she ain't what she used to be. But in this case, it's temporary and can be fixed. Probable causes. The spark plug, spark plug wire, coil, or coil pack could be faulty. Since this code pinpoints that cylinder 2 is misfiring, inspect this cylinder's ignition components. Check your owner's manual or a service manual to determine which cylinder is cylinder 2. The injector could be on the fritz. The injector isn't spraying an adequate or constant amount of fuel. It could be clogged, inoperable, leaking, etc. The camshaft sensor and or crankshaft sensor might need replacing. These sensors might not be sending signals to the car's PCM, making it do a little guessing as to how to keep the engine running properly. This is significantly more rare and usually associated with other codes. What part is potentially affected? Essentially, everything associated with getting cylinder 2 to operate properly. It should also be said that there could be carbon buildup on the intake valve or valves if it's a direct injection car. Possible fixes. Replace the spark plug, spark plug wire, coil pack or coil. Inspect them, and if the spark plug looks like it's completely burned out, that's the cheapest fix. Then the plug wire, but it'll be hard to judge if the wire looks to be in good condition. A good way to diagnose the wire and coil pack is to swap them with another cylinders. If a rescan then reports that the misfire has jumped to a different cylinder, that helps narrow things down. Just make sure you don't confuse the order of wires before you go unplugging. Replace the fuel injector. If the ignition bits are good or have been replaced, and a code is still showing up, inspect and replace that cylinder's injector. But before doing so, on direct injection cars, inspect the intake valves to ensure there isn't a bunch of carbon buildup, raining on the engine's efficiency parade. Replace the camshaft position and crankshaft position sensors. These can get pricey, and they're also rarely the cause, so make them last on the list. A multimeter can be used to find out if they're sending signals and aren't dead. Thanks for watching this video. We think this video helps you a lot. To get our next video tips subscribe our channel.